Hey guys and welcome to another video about Goddess of Victory, Nikkei. In today's video, we will be taking a look at the patch notes for the next big update that will be released on December 29th. We will mainly be going through the most important parts of the patch notes and at the same time, I will be showing you a preview of the upcoming skins and other content as well as my thoughts on each one. With that being said, if you like this video and find it useful, don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe, and let's jump right in. So first up, most of you probably know that Modernia will have her own special recruit banner along with this update. If you want a full breakdown of her kit, you can check out my pre-release analysis which will be linked in the description below. That video will give you an idea on what to expect from Modernia. Although, there have been a few changes made to her kit, specifically for her skill 1 and burst, so I will probably put that up on the screen. Just like every other character featured in the limited time recruitment, Modernia will be available for purchase using 200 mileage tickets, and she will also be obtainable from the ordinary recruit banner and special mold. But let's be honest, the chances of anyone getting her from the mold is close to none. Unlike the other characters before, Modernia will only have a 1% drop chance instead of 2%. This is unfortunate, but I do understand why this is the case, and I think the main reason is because Modernia is a pilgrim unit, and pilgrims have always been the hardest characters to get in the game, so I would say that you can also expect the other future pilgrim units to have a 1% drop chance. And if you are still preparing for Modernia, maybe you are fairly new to the game, or maybe you just want more gems to use on Modernia's banner, I will be leaving links in the description to different informational websites which will show you different ways to get gems in the game. There will also be a spreadsheet for the skill level up costs, so you can prefer Modernia's skill manuals and know exactly how many you need depending on what skill level you want. Moving on, let's take a look at the upcoming skins coming with this update. We have some previews for each one of the skins so I will put it up on the screen as we go through each one of them. The first skin we have is for Helm. You can get this skin from the new year pass and this is basically the same thing as the winter pass where you need to complete event related challenges to get points that will count toward the battle pass. This skin looks really good overall and I'm actually surprised that a new character was one of the first ones to get a skin. Another thing I wanted to bring up is the quote unquote censorship for the skin. There has been a picture going around where Helm is wearing a dress that is a little bit more transparent to say the least but i can guarantee you that this version i'm showing on the screen is the original version and not the one with a very transparent dress they are not censoring anything and it's most likely a third party messing with the layers of the skin and next up we have a skin for sugar this skin also has a very elegant and fancy style just like helm's new outfit and this fits the overall theme of the upcoming event. This one can be obtained from the regular monthly pass along with the other bonuses you can get from it. Next up, we have another skin, but this time for Julia. This one is obtainable from the cash shop along with the other skins that we recently got for Polly, Maiden, and Brid. I really think that all the skins that we have look good so far. You don't necessarily have to buy the skins, but I think it's just something nice to have, especially for the characters that you really like. Moving on, we have the brand new year event, which will be the standard event where you will have to complete stages to get different rewards. And we also have the new year login event where you will be able to get different rewards every day for 7 days. And next we have the new co-op boss event. This time, we will be against the land eater. And this event will last for a week and as usual, you can exchange broken cores for different materials that you need. Moving on, we also have a new year special recruitment that will be available from January 1 up to January 11. This is basically the same thing as the new commander recruitment where you will have to spend 2000 paid gems to pull on the banner and you can guarantee yourself one SSR unit. Aside from that, they will add more packages in the cash shop. So if you are interested to see what each of the packages have, I will put it up on the screen. We currently don't have the exact prices for these but it's safe to say that the price is relative to the limited time offers that we frequently get in the game. And outside of that, we will also be getting some game optimizations and bug fixes which is always great to see. So I will maybe cover that in the future video if anything significant comes with those changes. Overall, this update is actually very hype. We are finally getting Modernia and by the looks of it, she has a very promising kit. Of course, we are also getting a bunch of new events that will give us more resources, a bunch of new skins, and a few more game optimizations and bug fixes. Let me know what you think of this upcoming update and what you are excited for the most. With that being said, don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe. Thank you so so much for watching and i'll see you on the next one peace